plug and play, PNP. It's a feature that simplifies the setup of network devices. For some electronics like a keyboard, mouse, USB flash drive, or computer monitor, it's almost as simple as the name. You simply connect it. From there, it recognizes what is needed, figures out the right settings, and applies them automatically. Plug and play saves time with installation, increases productivity, and reduces the chance of human error. Cisco Network Plug and Play is a service that works with network PNP enabled devices, including Cisco Business, CBS, Catalyst 1200, and Catalyst 1300 switches. It centrally manages firmware and configurations. It also provides zero touch provisioning of new devices. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain Network Plug and Play, PNP, for beginners. Next. For network PNP to work, PNP-enabled devices must locate the PNP server. The devices can find this server in several ways. The first is by manual configuration, entering the details about the server directly into the device. Beyond that, the server can be found through DHCP discovery, DNS discovery, or PNP Connect redirection services. These methods are prioritized, starting with manual configuration. The PNP server is integrated with the Cisco Business Dashboard. If manually configured, the PNP client will attempt to connect directly to the PNP server. If manual configuration is not used, the PNP client will first try to locate the PNP server using the DHCP discovery method. To discover the server address using DHCP, the device will send a DHCP discover message with option 60 that contains the string Cisco PNP. The DHCP server must send a response containing the vendor specific information option, option 43. The device extracts the PNP server address from this option and uses this address to contact the server. If this fails, the DNS discovery method is used. Based on the network domain name returned by the DHCP server, the device constructs a fully qualified domain name for the server using the preset host name PNP server. If the DNS discovery is also unsuccessful, the PNP client will reach out to the PNP Connect redirection services. This is when the device goes online to find directions to the server. Therefore, the PNP client must have internet access. You need to create a controller profile for the PNP server on software.cisco.com. Then, each device must be registered. The PNP client will then attempt to connect to devicehelper.cisco.com. There are certain considerations to keep in mind if using the HTTPS transport protocol. The PNP client will verify that the certificate presented by the PNP server is valid and trustworthy. The certificate must either be signed by a trusted certificate authority, CA, or it must be independently trusted by the client. Additionally, the PNP agent ensures that the certificate's subject alternative name aligns with the host name or IP address of the PNP server. Ensure the value matches. If there is a mismatch, the certificate's validation will be rejected. There you have it. Now you know how Network PNP can work for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.